lot of them. Not every single one. Okay, the answer right here is not something that's set in stone. It's going to depend an awful lot on what you thought the value for the number of people with Alzheimer's was off of this axis based on what year you're talking about. So part A says between 2005 and 2015. Okay, here's 2005. And here's 2015. So what you want to do is you want to go straight up on the graph <coughs> for those two years and then you're going to have to give it your best guess as to what the y value is for that point. So your guess may not be the same as mine. Because I made the graph as big as I could, but even as big as I could, it's still, you know, there's, there's not going to be an easy way to, for all of us to come to the same answer. But based on what I saw there for these two points, I'm not really going to worry about the 2005 and 2015 because what I know is that there is a 10-year difference between those. So that's what I'm going to divide by. That's going to be my denominator of the slope because the rate of change is a slope. You're just calculating the slope between those two points. So the part you're trying to figure out is what is the number of people with Alzheimer's in those two years. And based on the fact that this looks like this is four and probably that's pretty close to five or a little more than five right there. So I'm going to say that in 2005 that I thought, and I may not even come up with the same idea, the same number again myself, because I don't remember what points I thought at that time, but I'm going to guess that at 2005 it's a little more than 5, so maybe it was 5.2. And then in 2015, it looks like it was more like uh, Wait, this is the, halfway point the halfway point is five. The halfway point is five, so five would be probably right about there. So I actually, yeah, I think I'm looking at the other one. This is the one that's 5.2. And I figured that that one, I think, was 5.0. I figured it was right on 5. But that's okay. That's what you put down. Show me what the two points are. Regardless of whether you and I agree about the coordinates of those two points, show me those two points. Okay? And then once you showed me those two points, actually do your slope formula. So... So what I'm getting now for my slope, based on my estimate, yours is not numerically necessarily going to be the same as mine. You, you may estimate those y coordinates differently. But by my estimates, that was 0.2 million people over the course of 10 years. Now, if that's what I got, and like I said, I'm not going to necessarily come up with these same answers because I may have picked different points when I did it before. 0.2 divided by 10 is equal to 0.02. So then my guess is that that's 0.02.
and that means that Alzheimer's, uh, the number of people in the U.S. 65 and over with Alzheimer's increased by 0.02 is what I got this time, million per year between 2005-2015. Now, if you thought it was uh, 4.9 and 5.3, that number's going to be different. But whatever that difference is, you're going to divide by the 10-year span. So your actual number here may be different from mine. I'm not going to count it wrong, but that was why I said you need to show me the work. You need to show me your two points, and you need to show me your actual arithmetic to calculate that slope. Because that's what I'm looking for. Do you know how to find the slope of a secant line? And this is a realistic situation where that slope of that secant line has been. Now the difference in the secant line and the tangent line, this is going to get a little messy here, is that it says interpret the derivative in 2015. Okay, here's 2015. What I want to do is find the slope of a tangent line to that curve at 2015. So I draw the very best tangent line that I can. Mine actually is not quite touching the curve. It should be, but I'm drawing the best one I can, so you draw the best one you can. I'm going to pick two points, just like I did before. I'm going to choose one for 2010, one for 2020, and there again, that's going to be a 10-year span. So the numerator of my slope formula is going to be whatever I think these y values are. And looking at this, I think that might be 4.3 for um, 2010. And looks like it might be 5.5 for 2015. And there again, I'm just estimating. That's all I can do is I have to give it my best guess for what it is. And the slope of my tangent line should be the slope of my curve at that point. It's just that I tried to draw the tangent line and pick two points off the tangent line. So you're really doing the same thing you did here. So 5.5 minus 4.3 is what, 1.2 over 10. So that would be 0.12. So your slope then would be the number of people age 65 and over in the U.S. with Alzheimer's degrees or disease was increasing. Notice the difference in the language. Increased by was increasing. That's a dynamic statement. It is doing it right now. Whereas this was, it increased, that was in the past. But this says it is increasing by, in 2015, 0.12, because I didn't see the same points this time as I did when I originally made the problem, okay? So I'm not looking at the number. Your number should be ballpark where mine is. You shouldn't give, be getting answers like five million per year or three million per year. It should be something smaller than one. In fact, something very, very small, like one-tenth or two-tenths. Three-tenths at the most, okay? But if, you're, if your numbers don't match mine, that's okay. This is what I want you to focus on, the interpretation, okay? So be sure that you do that.